back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make a whole chicken in a pressure cooker. Let's go. For this recipe, obviously you need a whole chicken. Now the size of your chicken will determine on how long to cook it. I picked out a six pound chicken, so it will take approximately 40 minutes in the pressure cooker. The average chicken, however, you find in the grocery store is generally closer to four pounds, so the cook time on that will be 30 minutes. The first thing you're gonna wanna do with your chicken is obviously take it out of the packaging and then clean out the insides. Take out all of the gizzards and all the nasty, gross stuff that makes you wanna vomit. Then rinse the chicken off and pat it dry. So now for this recipe, we're going to coat it in like a spicy, yummy mixture. It's going to include one teaspoon garlic powder, one and a half teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, and then half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. For the inside of your whole chicken, this part is optional, but I think it adds to the flavor. You can stuff it with half an onion and half a lemon. So the first step is, is we're going to add all the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix them together. And then we're going to add approximately one to two tablespoons of olive oil. Now it's time to stuff it. So now is when you wanna get your pot heated up. Depending on the type of pressure cooker you have, this one, the electric ones, you just wanna set it on the high setting to get it as hot as you can. Or if you have the instant pot, there is a specific browning setting you can push. And then with our mixture that we've created, we're gonna paint the breast side of the bird first. We're gonna put it into our pot, breast side down, to start to brown that for about four minutes. While it's in there, you can coat the other side of the chicken as well. Now I'm gonna put the chicken breast side down inside the preheated pot. So I poured my chicken stock into the bowl that I mixed all the spices together so I could get all the rest of that goodness. Now I'm just gonna pour that into our pot. So the last step in this cooking of the chicken process, you're gonna add the lid, set your timer to the meat setting, you're gonna adjust the time to a high temperature at 35 minutes, lock your lid in place, make sure that the vent is sealed or that it's closed, and then once your timer is done, it'll automatically switch to warm and then switch it to release, but let it do a manual release. Don't try to stop it too quick. That's the one thing that people mess up a lot of time in pressure cooking is you do a manual release instead of a natural release and that's what dries your meat out. The chicken is finally done. The pressure is done releasing. Let's open it up. Hey guys, so the chicken is all done. I hope yours turns out as well as ours did. I'm so excited to dig into it. It's already falling apart and it smells amazing. One thing I just wanna remind you is make sure that you also check the internal temperature to make sure it gets up to at least the 165 degrees. If not, it's as easy as putting it back in, shutting the lid, and cooking it for another five minutes or so until it's done. But I hope you guys enjoy it. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.